The Bryant County Patriots spotlight game, our second of two tonight, is underway. It's the Ashley Eagles and the Colbert Leopards. And good evening. I'm Joey McWilliams. Glad to be with you here in Colbert Wayne Merriman Gymnasium tonight. If you're used to seeing the big new facilities at Colbert, well, we'll go a little old school on you tonight. We'll talk about Coach Wayne Merriman in just a moment. Three-pointer is good for Dylan Winger, and the Colbert Leopards are on the board first. 10 and 2 on the season. Let's get the starting lineups to you. Colbert says they had the ball first. The visitors on the scoreboard, the Ashley Eagles. They're wearing the light blue uniforms, the dark blue numerals, and white trim. As in the corner, Colbert shooting another three. That one no good. It's going to go a little bit long. And the starters look like this for Ashley. A freshman wearing number 10, Jimmy Bledsoe. A junior, number 11, Trent Gilby. A sophomore, number 12, Cole Scholl. A senior, number 20, Zach Staten. And a senior, number 25, Cy Burden. Burden with the ball right now. Actually, Eagles coached by Will Robinson. And the Eagles coming in off a win. First win of the season. 50 to 30 victory over Victory Life Academy. One and seven now on the year are the Ashley Eagles. Cutter through the lane is Bledsoe. That one falls. Jimmy Bledsoe with two. And it's 3-2, Leopards on top. Colbert moving the ball around now. Leopards wearing the home white uniforms here with the maroon numbers trimmed in gray, gray around the outside. Dribbling in left side, up and under shot, no good for Makai Marquez. But the Eagles turn it over, stepping on the line. Gives me an opportunity to stay on that Colbert end. Makai Marquez, number two, a sophomore, six-foot sophomore. Number one, Dylan Winger, a 5'9 junior. Number 10, a 5'9 senior, Brandon Denton. Number 20, a 6'1 sophomore. On the inside, getting the board, Hunter Peebles. And... 6'3", junior, number 24, Carlos Seguera. Foul's going to go against Cole Shaw. His first personal foul. First team foul against the Ashley Eagles. Each team with the basket. Colberts was from long range. Leopards come in 10-2 on the year, having won five straight games. Included in that, the Bennington Tournament. And well, I guess turnover's fair play. Turn around would be fair play, but in this case, it's turnover. That's fair play as Segura stepped on the line. That baseline seems to be really big there <laughs> on the east end of Wayne Merriman Court, the Wayne Merriman Gymnasium. Turnover, and again, Colbert will get it back. Inside the friendly confines tonight of uh, the renovated Wayne Merriman Gymnasium. Obviously a much smaller venue than Colbert's general home court and another turnover. So neither team really finding a groove here in the early going. Thanks for being with us tonight in this Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game presented by Commerce Finance as well as Mackey Home Furnishings. Durant Drug. And Sherwin Williams in Durant. Trying to get our bearings here. This one on the Bryan County Patriots. Will be on the Midwest Sports Net YouTube channel. Looks like there was an opening get in the corner. Instead, it'll be Culver driving in. Denton. Count the basket. He'll go to the line for the and one opportunity. Brandon Denton. And first substitution of the night will be Zadiah Westbrook, a junior. He's wearing number 15 tonight for Ashley. We'll give Burden a breather. Denton with the opportunity for the and one here. And he gets it. So it's 6-2. Conventional three-point play for Colbert as well as the long-range jumper. And Westbrook will get past the pressure and he'll keep his dribble. Crossover, looks inside, finds Braden Prater. Prater coming in out of the timeout. The senior, number 33, can't uh, keep it. And Colbert will take it the other direction.
Three-second violation against the Leopards, and here's the turnover. Colbert coached by Tony Robinson. And if you did catch that, I mentioned Will Robinson, the Ashley coach, Tony Robinson, the Colbert coach. Tony, the father, Will, the son. Robinson family here in force tonight as well. However, both Coach Tony's wife and daughter sitting on the Colbert side. Well, Coach Tony Robinson's been at Colbert a little bit longer than Coach Will Robinson in his first season has actually has been there. In the corner, left wing, three, good. Brandon Denton, six points, and it's 9-2. Colbert on top in this one. Trying to pick up win number 11 tonight. Westbrook keeps that from going out of bounds. Not much room between inbounds and the stands here. Of course, this gymnasium named in honor of Wayne Merriman, longtime girls basketball coach here at Colbert. Longtime basketball coach, educator, administrator. Foul on the inside as Prater goes up and Peebles made contact. First foul charge to Colbert here and Peebles' first personal foul. Thanks to Commerce Finance for being our presenter here in the first quarter. Commerce Finance, Finance excuse me, 2807 West University Boulevard in Durant. And let them take care of your small loan needs. What do you need? Do you need to get some bills paid? Do you need to take a Christmas vacation? Maybe get caught up on a few things. It's Commerce Finance. Second free throw is good for Prater. And it's a 9-3 game. Around the arc, looking inside, Peebles kicks it back out. And, wow, stepping in, Bledsoe gets the passing lane. Solid defense, finds a cutter through the lane. Right hand off the left side, Zach Staten. He has two. 9-5. And Staten steps in the passing lane. That was a slow pass, long, ill-advised Staten. Takes it down, and that one is knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Leopards. Going to stay with Ashley. Colbert making a substitution here. Randon Gibson, 5'10 junior, wearing number 12, coming in for Denton. And a high pass as Ashley gets its offense set now. Bledsoe, and foul charged. And just like that, Gibson. Picks up his first personal. Two fouls against the Leopards. I think Bledsoe was bailed out a little bit there, too. Westbrook over to Bledsoe. One dribble back to Westbrook. One dribble off the glass. And that one finally brought in by Winger. And a quick foul. Jimmy Bledsoe's going to pick that one up. Third team foul now against Ashley. Well, maybe, maybe getting away with steps there that time was Makai Marquez. Gibson, as Shaw comes in to try, excuse me, Gilby tries to take it away, pass, long pass inside, and Peebles steps on the line. That is the third time that that baseline on the east end has been stepped on. <laughs> Reminds me of the restraining lines in some gymnasiums way back in the day. And the steal, taking the other direction, off the glass, good. Randon Gibson with two. Bit of an ankle breaker there. Leopards step in, tipped around. Peebles finally corralled by Segura, who takes it down. And there's the pass to the corner now. Gibson, and that one taken away. Eagles the other direction. Westbrook is there. Long arms. Ball. 
That's Gilby driving in. He'll be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul charged to Peebles. And for Peebles, that is his second. 13 foul against Colbert. And off the glass. Counts just as well. Trent Gilby on the board. <laughs> and <laughs> Coach Tony Robinson stepped down to ask his son, Will Robinson, is that how you teach him how to shoot free throws here? <laughs> Second one looked a little more traditional. Yeah. Actually with seven points now. <laughs> Segura looking down low. Zach Estep checked in to the contest, the senior for Colbert. And Estep kicked it back out. Now in the corner, three good. Right corner for Gibson. And Gibson has five. Skip pass, high arcing shot for Gilby. Saved, it's gonna stay with Ashley though. Marquez slings it down the other direction. Schull, his three, no good. Rebound and put back this fall though, Zach Estep. First field goal for him tonight. Eagles within five. Around the horn now for the Leopards into the corner. Hunter, or excuse me, Randon Gibson with the ball. Back to Segura. That one off the leg or off the knee, to be more specific, of Braden Prater. First quarter winding down. I want to say thanks again to Commerce Finance presenting our first quarter tonight. As Gibson takes a seat. He's had some pretty good time already. Denton comes back in. Leopards should get one more opportunity here. Ten seconds. Marquez comes off a screen for three. Little short. And the heave the other way. Close. But a little bit short there as well. Cole Shaw can't get that to fall. Eagles, though, trail by five here to the hometown Colbert Leopards. 14 to nine after the first quarter. Again, thanks to all of our sponsors, which include Sherwin-Williams, Mackey's Home Furnishings, Durant Drug, and Commerce Finance. We're here in Wayne Merriman Gymnasium. There you go. This gym was named in honor of Mr. Merriman back in 2015. All of his accomplishments on the basketball court and as an educator. How about some of those accomplishments? How about five state championships? I like this as well. This was in the lobby. Wayne Merriman, Jim. Now, it's tough to see his win-loss record, but let me throw this past you. He has 1,444 wins. Now, if you have 900 wins in a career as a basketball coach, I'd say that's pretty good. He had 900 more wins than losses. Just 528 losses, I believe, compared to 1,444 wins. Wow. Now we bring it back to some live action here. Second quarter presented by Mackey's Home Furnishings. Eagles in the corner. High arcing three, no good. Tipped out, and that was knocked out by Staten, so it's going to go the other direction. Brandon Denton has a game-high six points. Randon Gibson with five for Colbert. Four players with two points apiece for action. Segura splits two defenders, shot off the glass and off the rim. So the rebound to the Eagles. And the turnover. Nice job by Winger stepping in. 
Travel, though, turn over the other direction. The pass to E-step and, and picked up his dribble and couldn't slow down himself. Eagles move the ball around now outside the arc. High post and a low post, and well, they're finding neither of them. There's Westbrook stepping in, fouled from behind. Foul on the court. It's going to go against Winger. His first personal, 14 foul against the Leopards, and substitutions coming in now for Ashley. Cy Burden, number 25, coming back in, as well as number 10, Timmy Bledsoe. And checking in, the junior, number 32, Austin Landrum. Long inbound pass. Zone defense for Colbert extends a little bit. Now it collapses back. Running jumper, no good that time for Westbrook. Rebound put back off the glass, counted. Zach Staten, he has two more. And the Eagles are within three of their Southern Bryan County rivals. In the corner now, Winger trying to find Segura. Burton comes away with the steal after it was tipped. Three on one, stops, jumper, Bledsoe, good. Jimmy Bledsoe, he has four. <laughs> we have a one-point game here in Wayne Merriman Gym. Segura, the high post, out to Winger, baseline, and he's fouled. Dylan Winger will go to the line to shoot two. Which of the Eagles will pick up the foul? It's going to be charged to Landrum, his first personal. Fourth team foul against Ashley. Winger's first free throw is good. Second one good as well. Call for three for three from the free throw line tonight. Burden helps it get around the pressure. Westbrook, long three. That one from about 24 feet, no good. Segura, the high board. And off the glass, count that one for Denton. His second opportunity tonight for an and one. Brandon Denton, he has eight. Gets to be a little bit more of a quicker pace on the offensive end. Leopard's getting down the court more quickly. And it's going to stay with Colbert. As Denton's free throw was no good. It looked like Westbrook got a hand on it. It's going to stay with Colbert anyway. Leopard's trying to put things together this year. It's a program that Coach Robinson has just been building over the years and building has some pieces in place. Two blocks for the Eagles, though. Burton coming away with it. Slows it down. Little collision down low. Nice job by Marquez to reach out a hand to Lander and help him back up. Burden over to Lander. Bob Sullins would always talk about sportsmanship at that point. Off the glass. This one doesn't roll, though, for Westbrook. And we have a foul underneath. Segura picks that one up, his first. After the inbound, Bledsoe cutting through the lane, and he'll slow this down to reset the offense. It's 
Skip pass nearly stolen. Now Bledsoe driving in, running jumper, no good. Gets it back after it's tipped, put back is. Jimmy Bledsoe, sixth point tonight. Back to within three. Bledsoe tips that one away. Burden to Bledsoe. Ahead, stops. Shot's too strong, but he'll corral his own board. Heads up play. Tries to find Westbrook, the cutter. Bounce pass down low. Ripped away by Denton. And we have a foul. And that one going against the Eagles. That's team foul number six. Next foul will mean free throws for the Leopards. Eagles staying with this for a team that's one and seven, taking on a team with 10 wins already this year. They have not given up, not showing any signs of backing down. Get the turnover, Burden for three, too strong. And would have tied things up, long rebound, finally taken in by the Leopards. Thanks to Mackey Home Furnishings, our sponsor, presenting sponsor here in the second quarter. Mackey Home Furnishings at 320 West Main, the corner of Fourth and Main in Durant. Well, you know, they provide places to sit, places to lay down. They'll be sitting and laying down this one tonight. It's a tight contest and a turnover. That strong skip pass corner to corner too high. And it's enough Coach Tony Robinson's going to call the timeout. Let's keep it right here as... We talk about Mackey Home Furnishings for just a moment, one of our sponsors for tonight's game. As Coach Robinson talking this over with his team, Mackey Home Furnishings, well, you know, they have Lazy Boy. We talked about places to sit. Lazy Boy now on sale at Mackey Home Furnishings. Check out the latest in reclining sofas, recliners. They're on display with recliners starting at $399. That is Mackey Home Furnishings. You can go to the website and, and find out what they have as well. The website is www.durantfurniture.com. Mackey Home Furnishings, 320 West Main. That's the corner of 4th and Main in downtown Durant. I say thanks also to Commerce Finance as well as Sherwin Williams. And uh, Durant Drug. This will be on this will be online tomorrow. This will be online tomorrow. Sorry. And you may have heard that as down the court and ahead. Shot good by Denton. This broadcast will this is posted again on YouTube. And we have a backcourt violation. The pass as Westbrook didn't get into the front court in time. This one's being broadcast on Midwest Sports Net's channel. Bryan County Patriot, part of the Emerald Quest family of websites. News for Bryan County. And a good matchup tonight here, Colbert and Ashley. Count the three, that one's good. Twenty-three, fifteen. Well, it's extended to an eight-point advantage now as Ashley had gotten it back to within three. And Burden trying for a three. Skip pass again, high. <laughs> and a turnover. Traveling violation. That one's just a little bit too high for Gilby to take in. Couldn't collect himself, and he travels. So turnovers really plaguing both these teams tonight. It's unforced errors. Stepping on the baseline and more. Marquez looked like he might throw that to the corner, and there's no one over there. Passes inside to Segura. Carlos Segura's first field goal tonight. He has two. Around the horn. Passes inside, kicks back out, and Gilby drives in off the glass. Up and over defenders, and Gilby gets the field goal to fall. 
his first field goal of the night. He has two free throws as well. The junior with four points. Turnover. Another direction and knocked out of bounds. That's a nice job by Winger to get ahead of that one and knock it out. Gibson comes back in for Colbert. And it's Prater checking in for Ashley. Westbrook for three, too long. Underneath, Sakura gets the block on Staten, gets it back. Third opportunity. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And Segura picking up another personal foul. Zach Staten, his first trip to the free throw line tonight. Less than a minute remaining here in the first half. Eagles need points just to stick around and not let this thing get out of hand before the intermission. Staten misses the first free throw attempt. E-step checks back in now for Colbert. Second free throw, good. Staten now with five. Leopards could let time run out here with a seven-point advantage. And Segura skip pass to the corner for Gibson. Pass inside to E-step. They won't do it. Eagles with another chance. Coach Tony Robinson a little frustrated in the passing there. High pass too high as Gilby thought Staten was a little bit taller than he is. And now the Leopards, <laughs> they wait for the final shot of the half. To the corner for three, Denton, no good. And at the intermission, the Colbert Leopards own a seven point advantage, 25-18. That's our score at the break. Want to say thanks to our sponsors for tonight's broadcast. The Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game is brought to you by Sherwin-Williams, Durant Drug, Commerce Finance, and Mackey's Home Furnishings. Mackey's Home Furnishings, our presenting sponsor in the second quarter. They also sell appliances with a limited time washer-dryer sale, $379 each, $379 each. But you have to get them while they last. Limited time only, that is Mackey's Home Furnishings, 320 West Main, the corner of 4th and Main in downtown Durant.
Welcome back to Wayne Merriman Gymnasium. Joey McWilliams with you here on the Bryan County Patriot Spotlight game. A cold December night, a wet and rainy December night as well. Pretty good ball game here inside, though, as Colbert, the home team here in Wayne Merriman Gymnasium, a place that hasn't seen Colbert High School games in a while. The new facilities across the campus are big and luxurious. And this place a little bit smaller. Definitely an old school traditional feel here. As this one underway in the second half. For Colbert with the ball. Starting five out on the court. That includes Winger in the corner. They're wearing number one, number two, Marquez. And in and out of the hands of number 20, Peebles, as well as number 10, Denton. And number 24, Segura. Segura coming away with the rebound. Leopards on the run. Eagles send out the starters as well. As it's going to be 10, Bledsoe, 11, Gilby, 12, Shaw. 25 Burden and 20 Staten. And forgive me, instead of Shaw, it's going to be 15 Zadiah Westbrook. Peebles inside, gets around Staten, no good. Put back, Segura, count it. Carlos Segura with two. Leopards back on top by nine. Now, Colbert Leopards, just a couple of losses this year. Again, 10 and 2 on the season. One loss to Soper, and one loss to county rival Rock Creek. And Rock Creek in 2A, Colbert in 2A as well. Staten, a nice block. Peoples is going to get it back. Blocked again, Westbrook this time. And Peoples, they just had his number. Solid defense by the Eagles. Burden picks up his dribble well outside the arc. Could be a finals matchup in the Bryan County Tournament as Colbert and Rock Creek. Two of the stronger teams on the boys' side here in Bryan County this year. And also could be a precursor to what late in the playoffs might look like, regional or area playoffs might look like in 2A. And a three-second violation. Provides for a turnover now. In the corner for three, no good. Brandon Denton, by the way, with a game high 13 points. The bounce pass, bounce pass down low for Marquez ahead of his intended target. Couldn't find Segura. Brandon Denton leads all scorers right now with 13 points. Dylan Winger has five for Colbert. The other side for Ashley. Josiah Westbrook can't get that one to fall. Bledsoe with six points for the Eagles. And same thing. Layup no good that time for Marquez. Staten with five. Gilby with four. Turn around. Jumper. Good. Count it. Brayton Prater. The senior, his first field goal tonight. He goes back to within a touchdown here. And a great thought by Segura. Peebles cutting down low, but he stopped. And the play worked out well to get the pass on the inside, but just a miscommunication that time between Peebles and Segura. Eagles move the ball around the horn. Staten kicks it out, but wants it right back. There's the pass inside. Peebles on D. Steps in and takes it away. Long range. Three good. Makai Marquez. It's his second three-point basket of the night. Marquez with six points. I accidentally 
Credited, by the way, Gibson with Marquez's three-pointer in the first quarter. Halfway through this third quarter. Tipped around and finally into the hands of Shull, but it's going to be knocked out of bounds, stays with Ashley. Durant Drug, new location, 2432 West Main in Durant, formerly Durant Medical Pharmacy. A little bit shorter now. Durant Drug, new name, new location, same folks. Bill Cox and all the pharmacists, technicians at Durant Drug. They can kick, take care of your pharmaceutical needs as well as medical equipment out there as well. That's Durant Drug. Didn't look like it might have it stolen from behind. Instead, he's going to get it back. Step in the lane. Running jumper is good. Brandon Denton. Now he has 15. Westbrook just isn't his night tonight on the offensive end. That one rolls out for Prater as well. Zadiah Westbrook yet to get a field goal. Denton. And Marquez will slow things down top of the key. Eagles zone extends a little bit. There's an opening. Denton for three. Left wing. Too strong. Prater with the board. And a timeout. Coach Will Robinson calls this one. His team trails by 12. We keep it right here and say thanks to Durant Drug as well as Sherwin Williams, Mackey's Home Furnishings, and Commerce Finance for bringing us tonight's contest. By the way, the previous contest, the girls game, is actually online as well. You can watch that. Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. It is on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. And actually coming away with the win, 59-39. Summer Raider with 20 points for the Lady Eagles. Leah Brown with 19 points for the Lady Leopards. Actually 8-3 now on the year. And Colbert, 6-7 and seven on the season on the girls' side. Meanwhile, Colbert Leopards trying to pick up their 11th victory of the year. For Coach Will Robinson. Well on the way to doing that right now. 12-point advantage, but actually not going away easily. And the Eagles will inbound. Bledsoe driving in. Looked like he lost control a little bit and may have been bailed out by a foul. Number 10 on number 10. And Brandon Denton will pick up that personal foul. His first first team foul levied against either side here in the second half. And the Leopards collapse down that zone on the inbound pass. It's forced actually to throw some high passes to the outside. They have to reset. Bledsoe looks inside. Staten's foul. Zach Staten will go to the line to shoot two, and Hunter Peebles picks up another one. Second team foul against Colbert. As senior Zach Estep getting set to check back in for the Leopards. And Peebles knows, uh, maybe that foul is going to send me to the bench. Staten's second free throw is good. He's two for four from the line. And Staten now. He has six. Gets the ball back. He'll go to the line to try to get two more. 
Charge that foul to Makai Marquez. And Staten to the line to shoot two. Hey, you keep going there often enough, you can find a little bit of rhythm. Denton takes the seat now as Randon Gibson checks back in. Gibson with two points tonight. Staten three for six. Actually tonight, six of ten from the free throw line. Foul from behind, and Staten will pick that one up. Thought he got all ball. May have gotten a little body, though, on the way up. And that sends Esep to the line. Shoot two. First foul against the Eagles here in the second half. That one hits just about everywhere but in the basket. Nice rivalry contest here as the fall semester 2018-2019 is winding down. And that one hits just about everywhere but in, but it's going to stay on the actually end. <laughs> I said stay on the Ashley end. I meant stay on the Colbert end, but the I said Ashley because it looked like that was the way one official was pointing. Now they're both going to talk it over with Coach Tony Robinson. His team up by by ten, and Ashley will get it. Well, with neither free throw falling. Leopards get it back and throw it right back away. Quick pace. It's picking up. Not quite the way that Coach Tony Robinson wants it to, though. Thirty-two, twenty-two. Bledsoe, good. Jimmy Bledsoe, hard to the basket. Back to an eight-point contest. Ten the other direction, and it will be Brandon Denton this time. The foul's going to go against Staten. They say it's on the court, though. Coach Robinson, Tony Robinson, wanting to know how is that possibly on the court. Staten picks up another personal. Colbert to inbound. In the corner, Winger, three. Dylan Winger, second three-pointer of the night. It's back to a double-digit advantage for the Leopards. Second three-pointer here in the second half as they clean up the court a little bit, dry things off. Third quarter presented by Durant Drug. Colbert zone defense was looking very good just a moment ago, and Bledsoe exposed it. Exposed it. Bledsoe with 10 now. Nice passing by the Eagles, patient. Segura looks down low, E-step, good. Oh, excuse me. That's Staple, Aaron Staple, and I apologize. I've been crediting him as Zach E-step over the course of the evening, and I do apologize. Staple with four. Bledsoe's shot too high, ahead, down the court, Easily off the glass is Brandon Denton. 
He now has 17. Aaron Staple, a 6'4 sophomore from Colbert, wearing number 35. Time winding down. Bledsoe for three. Too strong. Rebound. Not going to take the shot. Aaron Staples, four points. Help Colbert take a 13 point lead. 39 26. Want to say thanks again to all of our sponsors here as our presenting sponsor in the third quarter, Durant Drug, along with Mackey Home Furnishings, Commerce Finance, and Sherwin Williams. Don't forget, Durant Drug is at a new location. 2432 West Main in Durant, right next to Billy Sims Barbecue. That's right. Formerly Durant Medical Pharmacy, they are Durant Drug. Bill Coxon, Michelle Aller, all the technicians, all the staff out there at Durant Drug. I invite you to come on out. They'll take care of your pharmaceutical needs. Also have medical equipment as well. That's Durant Drug. What is a high school basketball game without some journey going on in the background? <laughs> Leopards up by 13. They scored 14 points in the third quarter. Colbert led in scoring by Brandon Denton with a game high 17 points. Dylan Winger has eight, and Makai Marquez has six, four-piece for Segura and Staple. Fourth quarter is presented by Sherwin-Williams. We'll get that logo to stick around up there. I don't know why he keeps wanting to go away. Sherwin-Williams, 2012 West Main in Durant. Sean Collins and his staff taking care of all of your painting needs, painting equipment as well. Looks like Gilby might have traveled. Pass from Prater looking inside. Staten has it knocked away, and Colbert takes it the other direction. Eagles led in scoring by Jimmy Bledsoe now at 10. Only player in double figures for the Eagles. Need some points, though. Fourth quarter. Segura, spin move, draws the foul. Carlos Segura will go to the line to shoot two. Zach Staten picking up another personal foul. <laughs> and Segura. <laughs> Makes his first free throw attempt tonight. Second is good as well. Colbert, five for six from the free throw line. Colbert looking for its 11th win of the season. High pass, too high. That's going to wind up out on Collins Street. Leopards slowly bring it down. Time ticking away now. Just... Seven minutes, less than that remaining. Well, the pressure's coming out now. Eagles forcing the issue a little bit. Colbert still not taking a quick shot. The defense, that zone, really extending now, tightening up down low. Peebles adjusts in the air, can't get the shot. Rebound to Ashley. <laughs> Count to three. Good for the Eagles, back to within 12. Secura gets the ball away from Ashley. Nearly looked like he stole it from, from his teammate. Foul on the court. It goes against Westbrook. And Colbert will keep it. I 
Actually, we'll get one more game in as Denton's three rolls out. Headed to Mill Creek. One more game in before the semester break. For Colbert, this is it. Next contest is in January against Bennington. High post is Staten, and nice move by Gilby. Trent Gilby drives hard to the basket on the left side. Staten posting up high. I was about to mention, in the lane for quite a while. We're back to a two-point game, or excuse me, a ten-point game after five straight points from the Eagles. Now Prater comes out now bringing Bledsoe back in. Bledsoe the leading scorer tonight for the Eagles. And Coach Will Robinson, see if he can get his offense continuing. That shot redirected. Bledsoe got a hand on that one from Segura, and he comes away with the ball. High pass. Nearly too high for Schull, and it winds up being too high for Schull because he stepped on the sideline. I think there is something about this gym here, this Wayne Merriman gym, different feel than what Colbert's been used to and actually playing in recent years on that new Colbert gym floor as well. So fans pretty close. Segura, and this time he is fouled. Shaw getting a hand in, picks up the personal. Segura will go to the line to shoot two. Carlos Segura tonight. Six points, a junior. Not too fast a pace game tonight as Segura misses the free throw. Culver's done just what is really necessary tonight to stay ahead. Actually stuck around, but Find themselves trailing by 11 again. That nearly a backcourt violation again. One of those in the first half against Ashley. Ball tipped away. Marquez coming away with it down the court. Denton among three blue jerseys redirects his shot and it won't go in. Really had nowhere to go once he got in the air and didn't get the shot attempt he wanted. Winger. And the foul. Winger goes to the line to shoot two. Westbrook picks up another foul. Near the midpoint here in our fourth quarter. First free throw attempt is good for Winger. Cy Burden checks back in for Ashley. Thanks to our sponsors tonight. Thanks to Sherwin Williams at 2012 West Main in Durant. Second free throw good. Also want to say thanks to Mackey Home Furnishings, to Commerce Finance, and to Durant Drug. Leopards moving the ball around. Clock, the Colbert friend, will stay on the Leopards end. We'll have some more basketball for you as the spring semester rolls around. Time out on the court. We'll take that one too. Fourth quarter presented by Sherwin Williams again, 2012 West Main. Let Sean Collins and all the folks at Sherwin Williams and Durant take care of your painting needs whether it be a myriad of different paint colors, and it is amazing what they can do. So many different colors that they can make for you, as well as painting equipment. That is at Sherwin-Williams Paints, 2012 West Main in Durant. I also want to say thanks to Commerce Finance, as well as Mackey Home Furnishings and Durant Drug. Commerce Finance, 
You know, I talked about uh, small loans at Commerce Finance, whether you're getting credit cards taken care of or, or some other things. <laughs> Christmas is like almost here. And maybe that is uh, a way that you take care of some of your Christmas needs. It's Commerce Finance 2807 West University Boulevard in Durant. Fourteen to nine, eleven to nine, fourteen to eight. It's been the Colbert scoring over Ashley in each of the three previous quarters. Right now, Ashley with a five two advantage here in the fourth quarter. Peppers have Excuse me, a 5-5 advantage, I'm sorry. Leopards have put five free throws in. No field goals. Behind the back pass to no one. And Winger throws that one away. Eagles down the court and... Well, the defense steps in. Yelby can't split the two. Down to Denton. Stops. Turn around. Draws the foul. Count it. Brandon Denton. And that'll be team foul number seven against Ashley. So it will send the Leopards to the free throw line from here on out. Yelby takes a seat. Bledsoe comes back in. And again, Leopards get to put anything in from the field here in the fourth quarter. But the free throw line, pretty successful. Oh, actually, excuse me, you got to count. I apologize. Didn't give Gently and one. That's his third opportunity tonight. He's made two of them. Denton now with 20 points. Bledsoe trying to get something going the other direction. And won't happen there. Burden checks out as Shaw comes back in. Not that far now, I guess, from the Bryan County Tournament. Late January start is Bledsoe misses them both. Actually now 6 for 12 from the free throw line. Not a night to remember. Clock now less than three minutes. And Leopards. Letting time ticked away. Here comes Bledsoe forcing the issue. They want to pick up those fouls, but they're going to say they're going to have to. Instead, it's a turnover. Pass down low, off the glass, no good. Staten and Peebles just rips that away. Timeout, Leopards. Coach Tony Robinson wants to talk this one over. His team up by 16. And 217 remains in this one. Sherwin Williams, our presenting sponsor here in the fourth quarter. And this is an opportunity for Coach Robinson to just simply talk this one over with his group. Okay, you have the lead, looking for win number 11. Now, what do you do down the stretch? How do you close this out? I want to say thanks for watching this presentation of the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. Now it's going to be an inbound near half court as the Leopards took the timeout. <laughs> the Eagles 
don't come out with the tough D after the timeout. They're going to have to do something. Now they force it. High pass, Peebles, pump fake, and double dribbled. That's another turnover now for Colbert. Fortunate to keep that 16-point advantage. Staten kicks out. Crater jump shot no good. Peebles with the board. Colbert will look to the corner now and then back top of the key. Slow it down as Segura comes up. And a credit to the Eagles not coming up to just foul. Of course, the flip side is haven't been forcing it. There's the pass inside Peebles. There's the foul. Westbrook and Hunter Peebles will go to the line. Peebles is yet to score tonight. We get an opportunity at the free throw line. That one rattles out, and, and the frustration from Peebles is one of those nights. Sometimes it's just one of those nights. Now it looks like his team's going to come away with a victory, but still. Free throw doesn't fall for Peebles. Segura keeping it on the Colbert end, falls on the court, and we have a tie. Well, didn't look like he wanted to get up and walk away with that one. <laughs> Kenton up top of the key now, Segura. And the defense making Colbert work now. But so it looked like he might try to slap that one out. Peebles. He is fouled. He'll go to the line. It's on the court. It's a one and one. And Westbrook again. And that's five on Zadaya Westbrook tonight. He'll take a seat for Ashley. No points. And he'll be replaced by Braden Prater. As Peoples is on the line, do we want to say thanks again to all of our sponsors tonight as our fourth quarter presenting sponsor, Sherwin-Williams. 2012 West Main, and we have a foul after the free throw, which was a miss for Peebles. And it's a turnover. Foul's on the court, so here come the Eagles. Thanks also to Durant Drug. New name, new location, 2432 West Main. Bill Cox and all of his staff, Michelle Aller, pharmacist and technicians there. Let them take care of you. Steal for Colbert. Denton, three on two, slows down. Wise decision, except that Bledsoe, excuse me, coming up from behind for the steal. That's Shaw. And Shaw with two. Cole Shaw gets his first basket tonight. Less than a minute left here in the fourth quarter. Thanks also to Commerce Finance. As a traveling violation against Segura. Commerce Finance at 2807 West University Boulevard. Let them help you with your small loans. We'll take care of getting some credit cards paid off, some bills paid off. Hey, it's Christmas time. Stop by and see the folks at Commerce Finance. And Bledsoe drives in. Lost control, but... Let's go to the line to shoot. No, will he? No. He's on the court. That's foul number six. He will not. Actually, inbound. Trailing by 14. And also, thank you to Mackey Home Furnishings. Time winding down here. Denton in the corner. Over to Peebles. Peebles finally gets a basket. As time expires, Hunter Peebles with his first two tonight, and the final score is 49-33. Mentioned Mackey Home Furnishings. We close this out, 320 West Main in Durant. Mackey's has 
Recliners on sale. Check out the latest reclining sofas. Recliners on display. Recliners starting at $399. They also sell appliances with a limited time washer dryer sale. $379. Get them while they last. That is Mackey Home Furnishings. Well, we're going to wrap things up here from Culver from Wayne Merriman Gymnasium tonight. Final score is 49 35 as Colbert moves to 11 and 2 on the season actually falls to 1 and 8. Brandon Denton with 20 points tonight. He leads all scorers with those 20. 10 points for Dylan Winger. Carlos Segura with 7 points tonight. 6 for Makai Marquez. 4 for Aaron Staple. And 2 for Brandon Gibson for the Eagles. Again, they fall to 1 and 8. Led in scoring by Jimmy Bledsoe. Trent Gilby had 6. 7 for Zach Staten tonight. Brandon Prater with 3. And Cole Schull with two. For Jayla McWilliams on camera tonight, I'm Joey McWilliams. Thank you very much for watching this Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. And it is, again, presented by Sherwin-Williams, Mackey Home Furnishing, Durant Drug, and Commerce Finance. A little dancing on the court as Colbert comes away with the win tonight. Keep watching as uh, we'll bring you more Spotlight games as the 2018-2019 season continues. God bless you, everybody. Have a great night.